welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode number six of SWF Showdown. We've got a special episode for you guys this evening. This is All Maidens episode right here. Four great matches in Lafayette, Louisiana. Thank you once again for joining, and let's get straight into the action. Starting off our Maidens Only episode of Showdown is a new signee here to SWF. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kesha. She has just recently signed within the last two days or so. Uh, she quickly made her way down to Lafayette, Louisiana to take part in this Maidens Only Showdown episode. We're excited that she's here. Our Maidens division is growing. Our roster as a whole is growing. Um, I believe I mentioned this in the last showdown episode. Um, but in our Maidens division alone, now including Kesha, we've got about 24 Maidens. Um, and then in our on our men's side, 30. So we are up to about 54 people here in the SWF and we may uh, showdown may be more of a second show instead of just our house show showcasing some of the uh, people that don't get showcased as often it might be its own show and oh boy the lights have dimmed and the lights turn blue that can only mean one thing and that is it ladies and gentlemen the woman who made it through the to the semifinals of our Maidens Championship Tournament, she defeated, um, or excuse me, she was defeated by Veronica Haas, who is now our Maidens Champion. But that takes nothing away from Tiffany here. And she put up a great fight facing off against Rojan Jolly, uh, who, will, who we'll actually see later this evening. She beat Roj in the first round before getting defeated by Veronica. But let's see, can the newcomer Tiffany, excuse me, the newcomer Kesha defeat Tiffany here in our opening matchup of Showdown? Ref rings that bell, ladies move to the center of the ring, and wow, Kesha starts this thing off. She wants to show our maidens division what she is all about. And she starts off fast. Look at that. Whoa. Springboard leg drop. Kesha starting off with a fury. And a nice reversal. Forearm to the back of the head. Look at this. Drops the leg across the chest of Tiffany. And we might see a quick one, two, three here. She's going to send Tiffany across. The Look at that nice Hurricane Rana from Kesha. Now big rights and a kick right to the face of Tiffany. Tiffany's got to get the momentum swinging back in her direction. Nice big neck breaker there from Kesha. Keisha? I'm not sure how you say her name, actually. Nice roll away from Tiff, and she gets with a nice head scissors right back in this thing. And he, she's got, I'm going to say Keisha. I'm going to say Keisha. I'm not sure. Reverse DDT from Tiffany. And she's got her locked in and starts raining elbows down across the top of the head of Keisha. I know I started with Kesha. Now it's Keisha. I think it's Keisha. From the second rope is Tiffany. Calling Keisha to her feet and a knee to the face. Sends her right back down to the mat. And here, oh boy, Tiffany's setting her up. No, Keisha's gonna kick her away off the top rope and what a DDT that is. Holy cow. She goes right back to the top and now telling Tiffany to get to her feet and a big Yakuza kick right from the top rope and she's gonna go for the pin off of that one. No, just a one count. What a sequence that was. And now she delivers elbows to 
to the top of the head of Tiffany now. A little, little payback there. Keisha's going to take this opportunity to taunt towards the crowd. Get him fired up here in Louisiana. She's got Tiffany by the head, and Tiffany's going to get those elbow shots right to the gut. Ooh, big shot there. And here we go. Tiffany back in control off the ropes, and a jumping knee. Some, the ref might need to check those teeth. And a snap German suplex. The head of Keisha's got to be ringing right now after that big knee. Able to fight through, though. Shot to the gut of Tiffany. And again, taking her down and raining those big right hands across the face. She's not fooling around. She wants to get that first victory here tonight. Look at this. Up and... Oh! Nice reversal from Tiffany. Good... Good ring awareness there. She dumps her backwards and a standing moonsault and the pin. Ref, pay attention. Get down there. One, no. Might have been a, a heavy two count had the ref gotten there in time. Stomp. Oh, geez. Knees to the chest area from Tiffany. Well, Tiffany and Veronica, like I said, Veronica Haas faced off in the semifinals. Tiffany put up one hell of a fight. And Veronica ended up getting that victory. Ooh, pump handle backbreaker. Before going on and facing Jessica, who won't be on the card tonight. But we will see her soon. Nice axe kick, bicycle kick there from, from Tiffany. And now Keish just slowly moving up to her feet. Look at this. Oh, twist of fate from Tiffany. Very smart to get her away from those ropes. You don't want to chance a rope break. One, two, and that's it. Tiffany, ladies and gentlemen, spoils, spoils the debut of Keisha. And there we go. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen, opening up Maiden's Night. And what are we going to see here? Tiffany says, great job on your first matchup here in the SWF. That's just pure class right there, folks. Second matchup of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, and it is going to be tag team action. And it is none other than the Blonde Beauty Club. Their leader, of course, Ashley Lane, or excuse me, Angelina Lane there in the front. The two competitors in action are in the back, Brittany and Ashley. In their last uh, appearance in their tag team matchup, they faced off against Jade Corzo and Nina Letter. Both of those two women were new signees to SWF. Um, Ashley and Brittany here of the Blonde Beauty Club both hold titles, a tag team title, I believe, in GPW Grand Prix Wrestling. I will uh, put that link down in the description. And actually, we had a commercial for them in the last episode of Rebellion. But as you can see, the Blonde Beauty Club, they have been a team for quite some time. Their leader, Angelina Lane, will be at ringside for this matchup. Their opponents for this matchup here on Showdown. Two people that have uh, not teamed together before but this person here, Barbie Versace, faced off against Big Beverly Willis, and she got the victory over Beverly Willis. So she is coming into this thing riding high on a one win streak, I guess I should say. She is uh, take took on Big Beverly Willis. Both superstars had their debut matches, and Bad Barbie right here is the first. 
opponent for the Blonde Beauty Club. Her tag team partner for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than the significant other of Duke Zenda. It is Dawn Carr, ladies and gentlemen. She was eliminated in the first round of our Maidens Championship Tournament by Veronica Haas, our Maidens Champion. So Veronica has beaten two superstars on this show, that being Tiffany and Dawn Carr. She is fired up, only learning from the best, and her and her significant other, Duke Zenda, train together, travel together, stay together. They do everything together. So it's only natural that we see some similarities in these two superstars. Here we go. We've got, oh, it looks like Angelina Lane is going to uh, take the spot of Brittany, I believe, is out there on the outside. Double underhook. Oh, right to the stomach area. And she's gonna step outside. Oh, and, oh my goodness. Great move there, great move. Oh, shot to the stomach. And look at Barbie tossing. I, I, I believe now that I'm thinking about it, that might be Ashley. These women look exactly the same to me. No, nope, I think that's Brittany. <laughs> Folks, I am completely lost here. Oh, okay, I believe that is Brittany. I, I, that's what I'm thinking here. So Angelina Lane and Brittany. Oh, Don Carr taking it to Brittany. Angelina Lane decided she wasn't going to sit out. She wanted to fight. She wanted to fight. She has yet to fight. I believe this might be her first matchup. Um, now that I'm looking at the record sheet here, I'm incorrect. She has won a match and lost a match. And here we go. Angelina Lane tags in. Dawn Carr struggling to make it to her feet with Ashley on the outside cheering her team on. Don Carr now, look at this. Oh, what a reversal by Lane. Oh, stomp right on the face. This blonde beauty club, they are quite brutal. And look, I mean, just gearing up. You can't even do these things in the UFC, ladies and gentlemen. Angelina Lane, three huge knees to a downed Don Carr. She doesn't let that affect her too much. Maybe it has affected her. Lane with the fireman's carry toss. Oh, reversal. Kick to the lower leg area. Into the headlock now, and here we go. We might see Barbie coming back in this matchup. No! Jeez, not only that, but Don Carr gets completely thrown out of the ring. Brittany here coming back in. And she's gonna let Dawn make her way back into the center of the ring. Nice side leg sweep. Dawn trying again, trying to get out of this matchup. Nope, oh, hooks up Brittany in the tree of woe. And starts choking. My goodness, Barbie. Hops down as to not get in the way. And look at Dawn. 
taking the turnbuckle pad off that far turnbuckle. And the Don and Barbie are talking about it, it looks like. Maybe Barbie doing a little, a little more. Forearm shot to the face of Brittany. And, oh, nice move. Knees to the arm. My goodness. And Don brings Brittany in. Or, excuse me. I'm getting all these ladies confused. Don brings Barbie in. Brittany trying to make it over to Angelina Lane, but is unable to. Working the legs now, Brittany. All these single-named ladies confusing me. Barbie, Brittany making her way up and big knees to the face. And she tries again, but Barbie stops her. Oh, oh my gosh. What a backstabber that was from Brittany. My goodness, kick to the stomach. And look, double underhook. We're going to see it. Nice move there. Suplex. Brittany now climbing up to the second rope. Blowing kisses to the crowd as Barbie makes her way to her feet. And a hurricane runner from the second rope. Very nice move. Puts her right into her own corner. Oh, slapped down. I was going to say she might be glad that she was flung in that direction to tag Dawn. Big shot to the midsection here. Oh, big right hand. And Dawn reaches for the tag, but Barbie doesn't see it. Instead, she gets a double axe handle to the back. And look at Brittany going to town on those knees. Right in front of her partner, Dawn, as well. Brittany doesn't care. She's just trying to get that victory. Barbie up and over into a neck breaker. Wow. Barbie now crawling towards her teammate and again stopped. Look at this. Roll through. Pick her up. Oh, man. What a neck breaker that was. An intricate neck breaker. Dodges the roundhouse kick. Oh, and Brittany eats a boot from Barbie. Wow. Barbie taking a minute to pose for the crowd. And look at this. Barbie, we saw it. Oh, done to Beverly. The curb stomp. And she's going to go for the pin. All four women in the ring now. Angelina breaks it up. And Dawn bringing Angelina right back into the ring. Wow. Big slap to the face. Big shot by Barbie. And, oh, a second curb stomp right there. That's got to be it. As Angelina Lane... Lays on the outside, but instead of going for the pin, she brings in Dawn. And now it's Dawn's turn. She's going to pull Brittany away from the ropes. Pick her up. And a drop kick right to the back of the head. Dawn going up top. Angelina Lane still hasn't made it. Onto the apron. Big body splash and a hook of the leg. One, two. She kicks out, but Angelina Lane... Slides into the ring, looking to make the save, but it didn't matter as Brittany was able to kick out at the last second. Into that exposed turnbuckle goes Dawn. A turnbuckle that she exposed. Oh, and a second time. My goodness, Brittany taking full advantage of that thing being open. And into the opposite turnbuckle now. Oh, nice reversal from Dawn. Tosses her out, up and over, into a Hurricane Rana. Very nice. It looks like the team of Don and Barbie might take it to the Blonde Beauty Club here. Forearm shot by Brittany, kick to the stomach, hooking her up in the pump handle. Oh, pump handle fall away slam is what that looked like. And Brittany heading over to her corner, wise move. By Brittany tagging in the fresh Angelina Lane as Ashley stands on the outside again, taunting and cheering on her teammates. Big forearm shot by Dawn. And Dawn's got her up. Oh! Sitting. Oh man, she falls flat on her tailbone. And a suplex from Dawn. Nice move there. 
And now Dawn calling Angelina Lane up to her feet. And no, Lane's gonna wiggle out of it. And catch her with a forearm shot. Oh, boot to the face though. Dawn is not giving up just yet. Big kick right there. Dawn leaning up against the ropes now. What a slingshot powerbomb and the pin. One, no, just a one count. Lane thought she was gonna sneak it out. Dawn dives over to Barbie, gets the tag. Oh, what a boot that was. And Barbie, or excuse me, Lane sidesteps it, but Barbie catches her anyways. Lane with a nice catch and tilt the world backbreaker. What a move there. Lane now hooking her up. Oh, big shot right to the back of the head. That could have knocked Barbie clean out. One. Two, no, very, very close. 2.9 possibly, Barbie going into the corner. Oh, reversed, very good. She's gonna send Lane into her corner now. But Selena has, or Selena, goodness gracious. Don Carr has rolled out of the ring and look at this choke, my goodness. A shot right to the stomach. She's gonna drag. Look at this, ripcord knee right to the face of Angelina Lane. Dawn making her way to the apron now. Brittany getting fired up and Lane getting fired up. These ladies are ready to go and end this matchup is what it looks like to me. Holy cow. And she's going out. Diving in, big body splash. Nice move there by Lane. Reversal from Barbie as she picks Lane up and oh, oh, oh my goodness. What a set of, what a series. Great moves by tag team partners here. Brittany's coming in and stops the count. Oh. Whoa, Bulldog to Brittany. Ashley stands on the apron and stops the pin from happening. And now Barbie's wailing away on the knees of Angelina Lane. Wow. These ladies are giving it their all, trying to do everything they can to beat the blonde beauty club, but a trap suplex there. Works in Lane's favor. She's going to drag Barbie out. And there's those massive, massive knees right to the ear and top head area of Barbie Versace. Man, look at that. Oh, big forearm right to the face and that might be it. No, Lane is not letting up. She's got her, oh, drops Barbie right on her head but Barbie slides out. Dawn jumps down to avoid getting taken out. And now Lane goes into that exposed turnbuckle. Great job from Barbie and Dawn to take on a, an established tag team. Oh, oh man. Lane now sending Barbie across the ropes. Brittany waits and she tags Brittany in. Look at this, up. Oh, knees to the back and follows it up. Up in the air and a nice suplex there. Great job, Barbie crawling towards her uh, her partner. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. S -s middle rope moonsault. One, two. Dawn gets over there and instead, oh, gets a wheelbarrow face buster from Lane. Dawn's got to get out of this ring. I believe she's got to count to five. And Brittany now, look at this. Sending her oh, off the ropes and oh! What a forearm that was. Dawn is finally making it to her feet. She gets out on the apron. Brittany setting Barbie up and a big kick. Knee right to the face. Goes for the pin, one. Two, and it's broken up by Dawn at the last second. 
Lane delivers a big backbreaker. Wow. Giving Barbie some time to dodge that body splash from Brittany. Nice suplex there. And, oh, looks like Barbie Versace's going for the hat trick. Up and over. Oh, into a fisherman. Nice move there. Couldn't get to her partner, does Brittany. Barbie now in the corner. Oh, boy. Look at Brittany. Big moonsault. Landing hard on Barbie. And Barbie's able to work her way out. Her head might be a little woozy taking a knee in that moonsault. Although, oh, Dawn hits Brittany and causes Barbie to have to stop midway. And look at the teamwork here. Big body splash. That might be the first uh, thing we've seen of the two of Barbie and Don not doing so well as a tag team. And there's the big elbow right to the back of the head. And that might be it. One, two, and three. The Blonde Beauty Club steal one as Don Carr misses. Misses the pin breakup. My goodness. And look here as we see Lane. Big reversal. And a shot to the face. And there is the rolling elbow right to the back of the head. My goodness. And Barbie Versace takes the pin for her team. But look at his ripcord knee. That could have ended the match right there. And that leg, hooked leg DDT. But in the end... Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Blonde Beauty Club once again getting a victory in the women's tag team division, if we can even call it that. Blonde Beauty Club, ladies and gentlemen. Then our third matchup of the evening here in Lafayette, so. Louisiana, yeah. is a starts off with a Let's woman go. we saw in the Maidens Championship tournament, and that is the last time we saw Princess. She faced off against Jessica in the first round. Jessica went on to face Veronica Haas in the finals. So Princess making her long-awaited presence here. As I said, not in, uh, hasn't been seen since the Maidens Championship tournament, so she's excited to come down from New York, make it here into to Louisiana, face off against someone else we haven't seen in quite some time. And actually, I believe uh, this next person, she wasn't, she hasn't been seen since the tournament. She faced off against Tiffany in the first round, where Tiffany got the victory. This. Maiden comes all the way from the farthest part of the world here in SWF. Roj and Jolly coming from Punjab, India. As I said, the furthest place from SWF as we are a Southern United States Federation. She had made the long journey to Lafayette be a part of the Maidens Only Showdown episode. And as I said, faced off against uh, Tiffany in the first round where Tiffany went on to the semifinals to lose to Veronica Haas, who in turn is our Maidens champion. So, Roj and Jolly Princess looking to get a victory here, hopefully push themselves up the rankings. And whoa. Nice job there from Roach. And there she goes. She is ready to go, folks. The fans are pumped. These two ladies 
really about to go at it here. Prove that they belong in this maiden's division. Center of the ring. And it looks like Princess is going to start this thing off with a huge, huge body slam. Rose quickly, though, float over DDT. And then begins her assault on Princess. Oof. Knee to the face. Big shot there. Look at this. Oh, what a move. Full Nelson suplex. She stomps on the face of Princess. My goodness. That necklace of Princess could become a weapon in the wrong hands, possibly in her hands. Oh, nice driver there. She threatens. Oh, what a slap to the face. And now, look at this. Got the gator roll going just for these fans here in Louisiana. Stomp to the back now. And Princess running all over this ring before finding a turnbuckle. She likes up on the top rope. And Roge slowly making it to her feet. Big body slash, splash, excuse me, from Princess. And now that I'm saying Roge, I'm pretty sure it's Rouge. Why can't I get people's names right today? Nice reversal there from Rouge. Dragon suplex, and she works right back to that leg. Oh, forearm shot. Nice jumping complete shot. That is a great looking move. Um, a little bit of shades of our internet champion, Siler Jordan, with that sliding complete shot. We saw in the last episode of Rebellion, right before he caused Ryan Riley to tap out. And, now, oh, man, what a reversal and clothesline there. Speaking of tapping out, oh, working that arm, and how's she going to tap if she can't use her arms? But she's able to work her way free. She holds on to that elbow. Big shot to the midsection. Fireman's carry, reversal. These ladies really going at it now. Rouge, oh, my God. Good Lord. Princess putting her own body on the line. Just cross bodies Rouge and sends her to the outside and then plants her hard on the barricade right in front of these fans. This little girl in the flannel in the front row possibly seeing her future is to be a part of the SWF. Back suplex, very nice. Out here on the outside, but you got to win this one in the ring the ref is up to number four princess though oh my god what a knee drop from the top rope and if that doesn't put rouge out of commission i don't know what will devastating nice german suplex from princess and another jumping leg drop as i said though you got to finish this one in the ring Look at this. No. Rouge is going to back her way out of it. Floating. Nope. Princess gets out of that in a heartbeat there. Up, the ref's up to number seven now. Ooh. Sending Rouge into the steel steps. Princess does not want to lose this, or excuse me, get the win this way and a count out. She goes for a senton and misses. Luckily, she didn't hit those steel steps. That could have been the end of Princess there. Jumping elbow drop, folks. Princess is in full control. She is ready to put this thing into overdrive and end. Oh! And end Rouge here. Ref counting, I believe, is up to number six. And into the ring goes Rouge, followed by Princess. My goodness. And goes for the pin. Great move and a great idea. Two count, though. Rouge is able to kick out. Catches a kick to her back. Princess really fighting through this matchup. Ready to show why she belongs here. DDT. Reverse DDT, I should say. Princess now getting ready to put this matchup to bed. Snapmare. Oh! 
Insiguri right to the ear of Rouge, and I believe that is it. She's gonna roll the limp body over. Ref, get down there and count. Two, and just like that, Princess gets the victory. What a move that was. What a last few minutes of this matchup where Princess totally, totally in control. And what are we gonna see here? We're gonna see Rouge shake the hand of Princess. We do. These ladies showing all the respect to each other here tonight. The fans are up on their feet, ladies and gentlemen, for the main event of the evening. We are starting off against another person here who made it to the semifinals after defeating Rachel Walker in the first round. This is Selena. She is actually the significant other of Calypso. So expect to see a lot of the uh, high-flying top ropes, springboard type moves out of Selena. Selena did end up getting uh, defeated by Jessica in the semifinals who went on to face Veronica Haas. But Selena pretty close in the rankings and headed towards that Maidens Championship since she did uh, make it to the semifinals. So here we go, our first superstar, our first Maiden in the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Selena. Her opponent, ladies and gentlemen, is the person she faced off against in that semifinals matchup. It is a rematch of round two in the Maidens Championship. This is Jessica. And folks, are we gonna see a replay of what happened in that semifinals matchup? Is Jessica gonna get the victory? Jessica, of course, went on to the finals before losing to Veronica Haas. I am, for one, very excited to see this matchup. And what a great... The words just left my brain. Rematch, good grief. I've had uh, a few of these high school gym beers. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to have these in here. No, I'm not? Okay, maybe. You, only between me and you guys. So this matchup starting off, a rematch of the second round of the Maidens Championship Tournament. Selena in the purple, Jessica, oh my God, with a whippersnapper right off the bat. My goodness. And look at Jessica going to town right away and not even a one count before Selena kicks out. Good grief. Selena may not have been taking some pointers from her boyfriend, significant other, whatever they call each other, as he is the elite champion. Nice move there by Selena. I can't believe that. Just starting things off with a huge whippersnapper. That was... Oh! Big knee to the face. Selena, though, quickly grabs Jessica, sends her across the ring, and a running knee to the face of Jessica... That was brutal. And a diving, or a pop-up Meteora. Face first, or excuse me, knees first into the face of Selena. And Jessica now going outside, getting in position and goes for a springboard leg drop, but moves. That is a lot of pressure on your tailbone. Big chop from Selena who picks her up. Swings her around. And a reversal from Jessica into a DDT. Nice job there. And I thought maybe she was dragging her away for a pin, but instead drops the knee on the kidney area in the lower back. Jessica now back in control. Snapping DDT, standing Selena straight up in the air. Goes for the pin, quickly one, no. 
Just a one count. Wow. And oh, Jessica starts raining knees down across the chest. If you can't breathe, you can't fight. And if you can't fight, you can't win. Back to her feet now. Jessica's got Selena up on her shoulders. Look at this. Oh, face first into that middle turnbuckle. My goodness. And Selena's able to kick the leg or swing the legs out from underneath Jessica. Man, what? Right in the middle turnbuckle. Jeez. Jessica, nice reversal. Back body drop. Good job there from Jessica. Selena might have. Might have been pandering to the crowd a little too much instead of attacking her opponent. And look at this, Jess, or excuse me, Jessica, yes. Oh, straight jacket neck breaker. And she is not done yet. Kick to the stomach. Up in the air. Look at that. Dear God, that could be it. Suplex powerbomb to Selena. And folks, that could be it. Why not go for the pin off such a devastating move, Jessica? Woo! Flashback there, and Jessica's going to take a second and to catch her breath. Rolling out to the apron now. Selena stalking her, and oh, Jessica just playing possum is what that looked like. Kick to the head of Selena now, and maybe Selena playing possum right back. Big clothesline. These ladies going back and forth here. Hooking her up again for that straight jacket neck breaker. Oh, and that is a stiff neck breaker too. My goodness. Selena seems to starting to know what Jessica's plan is and a knee to the arm by Selena. And she's gonna set her up folks. This is it. Calypso calls it the Cosmic Clash, and could that be it? She quickly goes for the pin. Very close to the ropes. Might have been a rope break right there. Oh, elbow to the top of the head. Shot. Look at that. Jumping over, slamming her face first into the mat. One, two, and just like that, it is a repeat of the semifinals round in the Maidens Championship. Jessica gets the win after starting that matchup with a huge whippersnapper and then that jawbreaker move right there quickly going for the pin watch selena standing straight up in the air good grief selena catches the loss that is now her third loss and what a suplex power bomb we see a cosmic cosmic splash I want to say she might have been a little too close to those ropes. And in the end, the throwback puts Selena down for the one, two, three. And Jessica repeats her actions from the Maidens Championship Tournament and gets the victory here at Showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in this Maiden-only Showdown episode. If you like what you saw, click that thumbs up button, come back where we've got Rebellion coming up.